Good afternoon. I'm Kill David, and it's time for the 9 to 5 Outlaw Does Gaming YouTube channel. I'm back with another edition of Let's Play Classic. This time it's L.A. Noir. Previously, I had done four back to back advice cases with Roy Earl, the most corrupt LAPD, LAPD detective you'll ever know. But on the technical side, I had issues with the case loading up, but I've rectified that now. So we're back once again with Let's Play Classic featuring L.A. Noir from Rockstar Games. This is going to be Gaming Walkthrough Episode 10. So grab a drink, grab a snack, grab whatever. Grab what shit. Grab whatever. It's time once again for Let's Play Classic. Yeah, so, like I said, I had, had issues with loading the game because the cases would disappear. But, like I said, I've solved it. Let me get my glasses. Because I'm nearsighted. Can't imagine putting on glasses to play a video game. <sighs> well, anyway, here we are. And this case is going to be called... Where would we start here? Manifest Destiny. Earl Phelps, a shooting at the 111 Club, 6232 Hollywood Boulevard. Sounds like a homicide beef. Two of the dead guys caught in the crossfire were carrying army surplus morphine. Get over there before homicide tramples all over the place. We already cleared that up. Judge in Pasadena took the big sleep yesterday. He had a personal stash of 20 cigarettes. Appears we didn't get all of it. What a scum. Walking out on his wife like that. Okay, we're off and running. And once again, if you are God new to the it. channel, this please do me a solid and follow the Night to Five Outlaws Does Game on YouTube and Twitch channel. Everyone as well has as their voices. Even you, Phelps. For more Let's Play content such as this. And if you do feel generous and would like to contribute to the Can't channel, ice boys get any on the side? I do have a Patreon. That would help me out very much. You can if you want to. It's not required. Need a drink. I so got the jitters that. again. So this is actually the administrative vice finale of this of L.A. Noir, and the case is called Manifest Destiny. So, in the briefing, Lieutenant Colmier, the guy you just heard talking to Phelps and Earl, I'm telling you. had just mentioned that there was a shooting that just took place at the 111 Club, at the 111 Club, in Hollywood. It'll never stick, and you'll get roasted. And we gotta go over there to go over the crime scene. We gotta get there to go over the crime scene and look for evidence, look for clues, and interview potential uh, witnesses. Let's get on it. Wow, this day was a total waste of makeup. But for this stream, I'm probably going to go about 90 minutes because this is just one case. Usually, I do two back to back cases. Let's go. And I'm going to keep the line open for police calls. Any central unit Parker and Green are going toe to toe for the Southern top job. There's a change in the wind. About time. This wind will be like a tornado, Phelps. Parker's got a puritanical streak. You never know we'll get swept up in a thing like that. Just got a police call for some event. Some random street crime. So I'm taking a little break in the action, what I would call the storyline, and handling some random street crime. 
And of course, you do have the option of taking the ball or not. So it's a shooting at some kind of auto kill. I think it's with the intent of uh, robbery. Any central unit suspect to be taken into custody at Southern California Auto Club. Stand by for further unit to handle identify code 2. 11K responding. Go ahead with the further. More than likely, we are engaging the shootout as these criminals are not going to go far. Except for the put it down. That's what they're going to do. 6201 Santa Monica. Auto Club of Southern California. Erect in Detective Phelps, LAPD. What's going on here? This joker was trying to tail one of our patrons inside. I'm a reporter, you idiot. OK. I'm doing a feature for the examiner, and that patron I was following is a red under investigation by the feds. Where is he now? The parking lot. His is the blue Talbot. Say, hey, how about an exclusive when you bring him back? Shove off. You won't be filing your story today. I'll check this out. A red, huh? Sneaky bastard. Oh, I'm gonna enjoy this. Time to catch a cummy. We're gonna catch a cummy. And this is the 1940s, 20th century America. The red scare was real. And then some of the stuff was, you know, what they would call in today's, you know, verbatim gaslight, gaslighting, whatever. Making something bigger than it really is. LAPD, sir. Can I have a word? Oh, look at that. Let's take that. Well, one. that's an admission of guilt Ooh, if I ever cars. saw one. Let's catch him. He's not getting away that easily. I just love the new car. I see how much faster it is than I got. I mean, Roy Earl's car is fast. I'll give you that. But this one's much, much faster. And these were actually real licensed cars back in the 40s. This roadster is money, man. I can imagine the cost is going to be at least several hundred thousand dollars, especially by inflation. Go bad for the second car with a commandeering. We got the right. So this doesn't look like a violence. Not get blood on this car. Don't scratch the paint. Oh, he's out. You ain't getting away. Come back and catch him. Hold up. He's in his car. We, we got him. Hands behind your head. Out of the car, Pinko. This is harassment. Understand? Understand. My politics are nobody's goddamn business but my own. Shut up. Another red to boot. Now let's get on with the Rigo deal. It was a fine ride. By the way, those vehicles will come unlockable, however, you don't get to drive them except for in game. Not like in Breath of Auto. So I'm not gonna take any more boost calls, we're just gonna focus on. By the way, as I said before, this is only going to be one case because it's the case finale. In this case, uh, advice, administrative advice. And by the way, the vice desk has to do with crimes having to do with drug peddling, prostitution, illegal gambling, and the like. 
111 Club. Homicide guys are already inside. I hope everyone can hear Mikowski. me. Phelps, back again. We're here about the morphine. Over by the bandstand. You can see what's left of the owner, Eddie McGoldrick, 26, former Marine. Eddie McGoldrick. I know Eddie McGoldrick. He was a non com in my old unit. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that, Cole. Waitress said he recently came into some money and bought the club. Who are the other Vicks? Two musicians, Biddleston and Bo. And get this, they used to be in a four piece, but the trombone player and the drummer OD'd. Don't tell me. Lamont and Tyree? We've met the rest of the band. Now they're a no piece. <laughs> mm. Do you mind if we take a look around? Be my guest. You might want a word with the hostess, too. I'll keep her company until so you... So there's ready. three people dead. My steak was two. There's three people dead. One of them is an old Marine buddy of uh, Cole Phelps, as just mentioned in the conversation between Phelps, Earl, and Stefan Pakowski. Stefan Pakowski. So let's check the victim here. This is Biddleston. Must have pumped a dozen rounds into him. Bow. Certainly sends a message. Break out my intuition so I can go over the clues. Oh, damn. Look at that. Another victim. This is Edward McGoldrick. Cole Phelps is on the Bad luck, guy. Eddie. Okinawa couldn't kill you, but knowing the wrong people in this city. Pissing them off for sure. Looks like the safe has been gone through. Look at that. They didn't even try to crack the safe. Yeah, so this was retaliation. It wasn't about money. I'm thinking if it's Mickey Cohen's goons, you know, they would have taken the money regardless. But then they're more than likely not to rip off Mickey, um, Mickey Cohen. And Mickey Cohen, of course, was an actual LAPD gangster. Not LAPD. Los Angeles figure in the organized crime outfit. Or the Jewish mob, particularly the Jewish mob. There were such films such as uh, Gangster Squad with Sean Penn playing Vicky Cohen. And his right hand man was Johnny Stompanato, who was a, was actually murdered. Not say murdered, but he was actually killed in an act of self defense because he was dating Lana Turner. And Lana Turner was a well-known actress back in the t back in the 40s and 50s, but it was her daughter that shot Johnny Stampanato, and of course, since she's a minor and it was in defense of her mother, when you're ready to have a civil she conversation, to to, she didn't we have can to go try to jail again. because it was it was self so it was yours, but she was protecting her mother, and now she's 80 years old and still alive in 20 20. Another day, another dollar. Well maintained, custom case. Someone cared for this instrument. Yeah, let's see if they got any drugs in here. Yeah, I'm gonna check this. Check this trumpet. What's that? Put that back in there. I just What's heard that a click. click. I just heard a click. They'll put that down. Never the same, are they? Ooh, look at Neat that! Trick. The case must have cost more than the trumpet. Yeah, it's like getting Batman with uh, drug smuggling. Kept his stash close at hand. Okay. More heroin, morphine. Yeah. We should follow up on the musician angle. So 
the musicians are more likely drug peddlers. I guess the performances are making the most money. <laughs> Yeah, this must be Biddleston. When I was playing the homicide cases, I actually had to edit them for YouTube and put blurs on them because... We have a new source, or is this coming from what's left in circulation? Women. Most of them were nude women, so I had to put blurs on those. So this is the morphine tartrate. Army surplus morphine. You capture all the good ones, fellas. What do we got in the case? To a carton. Hundred cartons or more. Smoke Looks like a couple of months' supply. This was a robbery on a ship. Ooh, look at this. Ooh, look at the guns. These are what they call BARs or boat action rifles, used during World War II. These look World brand War. new. Never fired. They haven't been degreased yet. Yeah, but we could check on the missing. serial numbers. Is this guy hunting for bear? Look at these things. They're BARs. You get the odd guy who sneaks one of them home from the war. How did he get three of them? Yeah. Army surplus morphine, army surplus weapons, army surplus valors. Sound familiar? We should get back to the station and check the details of what exactly was lifted from that ship. Damn. That's... Ma'am, I'm Detective Phelps, Administrative by Squad. Welcome to the 111 Club, Detective. Feels like I've had half the LAPD in here today already. The hostess, eyes blue, hair brown, age 26, sex female, hostess at 111 Club. Any idea who did the shooting? No idea. It was my day off. If I had been here, honey, I'd be full of holes, just like the others. You trying to get smart, sister? What do you know? You want to level with me, miss, before we start taking an interest in you. This place has been on the slide for years. Eddie turns up, buys the club, then we start getting visits from tough guys. Next thing you know, we have the St. Valentine's Day Massacre. Are you getting the picture? Easy, sister. We're asking the questions here, not you. Tell us about Eddie. Eddie didn't know a thing about running a nightclub. He came into some money and waltzed in and bought the place. The previous owner thought all his Christmases had come at once. Where do you think he got the money? My guess was that he was selling the sort of quality product that you don't need to advertise. <laughs> Thank you for your help, ma'am. Eddie was in over his head, but he was a decent boss. 
Things are about to get really heat. Are going to be heating up in this game. Yeah. Someone got to tell us what the hell is going on. Yeah. Uh, How well did you know the owner? Goldrick? Well enough. He was in my unit. That's some cruel irony. You survive the war, then get blown to pieces back home. It happens more than you'd think. Young guys trying to adjust to normal life, getting mixed up in the wrong crowds. The kid had just bought a nightclub. I'd say he got me. <laughs> the Blue Room. 510 p.m. I can't decide between the tuna fish and the fish. Some of this is probably going to be muted for this stream. But if it's music with no lyrics, it's fine. I guess. Yeah, there we go. Take a break, boys. We this would like them Elsa to stay. To Miss a German exile We're making inquiries into the recent deaths of four musicians. Since when have the police head. cared about dead black men? Good point. We don't. Ha! What we care about is two tons of army surplus morphine showing up on the street. If you care about working in this town, you better give me something on Biddleston and Bo. Or their knucklehead buddies, Tyree and Lamont. And this is your idea of making inquiries, Understundführer? Uh-oh. I've told you a thousand times about speaking that German gibberish at me, Elsa. Roy! How about you get a drink? While I see to this. In previous episodes of Ellen Will Noir, Lloyd Earl has smacked around Elsa Lichtman in her dressing room. Why antagonize him, Elsa? You know what he's capable of. Ask your questions, head officer. We have work to do. Elsa Lichtman, eyes green, hair brown, age 30, sex female. German exile and nightclub singer. People are dying of overdoses. If you know anything about it, you need to tell me. I can't help you. A lot of cats are into the thing. That's nothing special about your boys. You can do this the easy way with me, or I can call my partner back over. I can assure you he's a lot less sensitive. You think your threats frighten me? Black man don't supply nothing. You think there's a black man in this town holding on to two tons of morphine? He'd be dead in a minute. White man supplies, black man buys. Amen, brother! My partner mentioned a couple of names. You recognize them? I have no idea what you're talking about. Plausible deniability. When you accuse, you can't accuse someone of lying, but you don't have proof. You can accuse someone of lying, but you can't. If you don't have proof, you can choose doubt. The only way you're going to get rid of me is to give me an answer. I knew Cornell. We worked together a few years ago. He loved the music, but the music didn't love him. What does that mean? He was a shitty musician. It means that he just wasn't that good. Yeah. He was a sad, lonely cat. Boys, take five minutes, please. I need to have a private word with the officer. Why do you ask people to risk talking about a subject that could have them jailed? Drugs are against the law, Elsa. And you're so full of courage, you have never felt ashamed. This is getting us nowhere. Do you think you'll win your war against narcotics? It's not my war. It's against the law. My job is to prosecute the laws of this city. Do you think you can stop people from needing drugs, detective? I'm asking the questions here. Then why do you come to me with your stupid questions? You know who controls the drugs in this city. It's not enough to just survive, Elsa. You have to try and make the world a better place. Brave words. And very noble. But... Words are just words, Colfabs. She's right. We need to pay a visit to the mixer. Cohen? Do you know where to find him? This time of day? You'll find him holding court at the Macambo. He can wait. Club. There's something I need to be sure of. Give me till tomorrow morning. Don't do anything I wouldn't do, partner.
doing another tail here. If you drive erratically, draw attention. You split the driver and they'll run off. unfortunately has an extramarital affair, which is good for the, excuse me, the LAPD and, and city officials, but bad for him, and he's risking his career. Supposed to be devoted family man, but it was back then, a cop to be having an extramarital affair was kind of a big deal. But it's not so much in the 2020s right now, you know, with what you've heard and what you've seen all over social media and also not necessarily the news, but all over social media. In fact, people get the news from social media, if you can believe that. So, Phelps, it's about to do something regrettable. But I think he was just doing this to get information. But there was a part of him that was damaged during World War II, during the Battle of Okin in Okinawa in Japan. And modestly, he doesn't consider himself a hero. Yet he was given a silver star because he survived. Meanwhile, Roy Earl is keeping close tabs on both folks. And he's gonna, of course, use this to the advantage. To his advantage. See, he knows what's going on. The Combo Club, 11:25 a.m. LAPD, we're looking for Mayor Cohen. I believe he has lunch here. There's not going to be any trouble, is there? Which table? Some Number three. Very, very if you'll follow me. Kind of, you may not know their names, but you My acting coach is because I have faces. real talent. So this is where Where's Mayor that Mickey Cohen waitress. I'll bring you coffee. is having his lunch. That cherry pie was Gentlemen, deep. LAPD, we have some questions. Hi, regarding... Mickey. How's it hanging? Fine. Just fine, Roy. I see you brought Iga Beaver along. Hope he's not going to put the shakes on me again. Cole Phelps, Mickey Cohen. Good afternoon. <laughs> he has manners. That's Johnny Aren't Stompanato. you a little green for this kid? Me, Johnny Cohen's Stompanato, right Cole. He has the biggest schlong in Hollywood and the smallest gun. Or maybe that's the other way around. Yeah. I can never quite remember. You're a funny guy, Roy. Okay. Haven't I always said what a funny guy Roy is? And how much fun it would be to get together with him sometime. Poor Johnny. He's the dark, sensitive type. He's a serviceman too, Cole. Johnny was at Okinawa. You were in the crotch? Sixth Marines. The lieutenant who won the Silver Star upon Sugarloaf. I've heard of you. Something like that. All right, have we finished flirting? You, you got something to discuss, Roy? Or are you going to stand around beating the meat while my lunch gets cold? <laughs> we have some questions. <laughs> Do I need my lawyer? Mayor Harris Mickey Cohen. Eyes brown, hair black, age 33, sex male. Mickey Cohen, prominent organized crime boss. Finkelstein Your brother-in-law, Lenny Finkelstein, was selling stolen morphine. He had one-third of the shipment. 
Old news, kid. I don't know anything about what Lenny was up to. So I'm supposed to believe that you don't know what happened to the rest of the shipment? Lenny, God rest his soul, was a moron. <laughs> he was family, though, and He's I haven't made a beef about that, so count yourself lucky, kid. The H is a filthy habit. As I don't Fisher. condone it. The simple solution he would be to have all the dope fiends put series, down. Uh, so Batman. you don't know where he got the morphine. Kid, ask a question you might get an answer to. We believe there's a link between a group of Marines and the morphine stolen from the SS Coolridge. One of those Marines was shot to death in a club last night. I wouldn't know anything about that. <laughs> so you haven't heard anything about what happened at the 111 Club? What can I say, kid? I'm shocked that in the land of opportunity, Uncle Sam's finest feel the need to resort to crime. It's a dangerous business. I can attest to that. I'd recommend they get out of the life. Quickly. <laughs> a few Negroes saying goodbye on the sidewalk will never make the papers, Mickey. But we had a judge in Pasadena say adios the other day. Prominent white people popping their clogs makes everyone nervous. You know dope has never been my thing, Roy. It's always been for Schmendricks, like uh, Jack D and Jimmy Utley. But uh, I'll ask around and I'll get back to you. Hey, you boys want some lunch? How about a drink? We'll take a rain check on that. Come on, Cole, we're leaving. We have to cut that dope. It looks bad with people dying. We have to get the rest of it. There's no way of watering down the stuff in those little packages. We have to put the squeeze on those guys and get the rest of it. They don't seem to type the fright in that easy. We'll see. Meanwhile, hey, what's going on? Oh, that fucking oh, rat Stoker has gone public about Brenda. Who is Brenda? Brenda is LA's most famous madam. And everyone knows it? Of course everyone knows. Brenda so pays her way. Are we cops or a collection agents? Fours have been around since the Bible. Our job is to keep Hollywood it off the Madame streets so Joe Citizen Brenda and his Allen. wife can stroll around unmolested. Then we should change the law. Are you out of your mind? Every politician in America is against prostitution. Except when they're using them. Yeah. So where does Stoker come in? He objects to the LAPD and the administration taking its cut. Is everyone in on this? Yeah, and that's the problem. From a little acorn does a large tree grow. He could bring the whole thing crashing down on us. Aren't you supposed to be working the... Sir, do you know which robbery detectives are working the army surplus theft from the Coolidge? Caldwell and McManus. I saw Caldwell in the squad room not long ago if you want to speak to him. Thank you, sir. We'll do that. This way. I didn't want to arrest the kid, so I gave him a death I said, if you're a producer, then I'm Lana Turner, Jeff. Eric. Lana Turner. You got a minute? Sure, Cole, any time. You've been working the docks robbery on the SS Coolridge? Yeah, that's right. So how do you see it? Inside job. Either the guys working the wharves or some of the guys on the ship. What else was taken apart from the morphine? Case of BARs, case of Thompsons. Crate of smoke. Homicide just recovered three BARs and a mountain of cigarettes at a shooting at the 111 Club. No kidding. I better get over there. Do you have a copy of the manifest? Yeah. Here it is. So, so how do we connect the docks robbery to the mess at the 111 Club? I say we bust in there and find the goddamn evidence. Hey, I gave his wife a tap. I said, all's fair in love and war. Enough to arm three companies. I'm thinking of moving up to a 45. I want to stop them with one round. So you're looking at now the BARs? Off me at the grand jury. Thompson, somebody. There's our backroom arsenal from the 111 Club. The, wants my head. the cigarette? Half a million cigarettes loose cigarettes. on the streets of LA. The Valor cigarettes? Mouthpiece torch strips off me at the grand jury. Case was thrown out. Now this is the crate we recovered. That bum took Some of these guys are from me. my old I unit. Down with my sack. Yeah, yeah, finally shipped home. Too. Kelso, Sheldon, McGoldrick. McGoldrick was on the boat? Sure, we checked him out. McGoldrick yeah, bought the 111 the Club. Slab. His brains are all over the bar. Yep. Looks like whoever stole the dope is getting muscled. By whom? Dragner or Cohen. They Cohen. control the hop. No doubt. Because he just... Detectives, KGPL is going left. crazy. 
Shots fired at 1384 North Bronson. Some guy with an automatic spraying a Hollywood bus. They want Holy every fucking car. shit. Go! There's a bus shooting going on. Let's go. I was door knocking all morning, but I got a make on the car in the end. Oh, that's Stefan. What the fuck? I'm going out the wrong way. Mouthpiece torch strips off me at the grand jury. You gotta get the hell out of here. Out. Now the DA. Shit, you got real. I was door knocking all morning. I gotta make on the car in the end. As I said, things are heating up in LA Noir. Now she sports kicks off me like a grand jury. Now we got criminals shooting up buses to get at somebody. So, you gonna see your married man again? You can drive. Where are we going? Take him out. Just go in. Ah, ah damn it. Keep getting smoked. Skipping the sequence. Actually, switching the outfits do have benefits, and they make a difference. This one Can't be shot. Yes. Ah! You're covered, pal. Shit. 
Move, I got it. Code 4. BARs. I think those were ones that were probably stolen from the crime scene. This is 
one of Mickey Cohen's men. Alvaro. Phone number and restaurant table. Alvaro. Dude, He's one of the guys from the ship. His name was on the manifest. Looks like McGoldrick wasn't the only one to get a message. Hey, Alvaro. Hey, Lieutenant. He's just a plain detective now, Chico. Who's the jughead? <laughs> it's my partner, Roy Earl. We just want to find out what happened. What happened is that someone took a shot at my bus. And the cops turned up and started treating me like I'm some sort of pachuco punk. My people have been in California for over 300 years. Very fucking admirable, Felix. Enough of the grandstanding, buddy. Felix Avro, eyes brown, hair black, age 28, sex male, former Marine and Hollywood trans transit bus driver. You hear anything about the big heist on the Cool Ridge? Yeah, I heard about it. So what happened? Not much. Uh, the cops came and interviewed me and all the other guys on the ship. I was down at the 111 Club this morning, waiting for the medical examiner to scrape Eddie McGoldrick's brains off the bar. You want to tell me anything about that? I heard that Eddie came into some money. Too bad he didn't keep a low profile. It was a tough break to get through Okinawa and then have to buy it back home. Who's shooting at you, Felix? How the fuck do I know? Well, we do. We also know that you're lying. The dead guy on the roof works for Mickey Cohen. Why would Cohen want you dead? Man, I don't know anything about Mickey Cohen or, or any of those gangsters. Yeah, well, they know enough about you because your name was listed in the sniper's pocketbook. Your name was in the sniper's notebook. Level with me, Felix. Cohen thinks because we were on the boat, we have the morphine. Courtney's meeting those guys to sort it out. Courtney Sheldon? Yeah. You remember Sheldon, don't you, Cole? We'll be in touch, Felix. You heard that Jack is in L.A.? I saw his name on the manifest. He's been here a couple of months. Sure glad to see you got over your wound, Lieutenant. I mean, detective. This Pretty is cool not. customer. We gotta find Jack. He's been under fire before. You buying a story? Not for a minute. Use the game well. Please call box or please junction box. Phelps badge twelve forty seven. How can I help? How detective? can I help, detective? I need an address on a Jack Kelso. Just a second. Jack 
Kelso, apartment 4, 1408 North El Centro Avenue, Hollywood. Thanks for your help. You know the way. You can drive. All right. Where to? Kelso's apartment. Let me through. I just want a quick look is all. Jack was a company sergeant. He would never get involved in something like this. We brace him and drag him downtown. Won't work. He's a tough customer. like to come inside actually we'd prefer if you'd come downtown with us do you mind do i have any choice no you don't are you going to tell me what this is all about it would be better for all of us if we discussed it at the station bad move cole how have you been jack cut the crap you pick me up in front of my apartment like a common criminal and then expect small talk fuck you <laughs> Kelso, eyes blue, age 34, hair brown, sex male, former Marine and OCS training dropout. Army surplus morphine. Do you know that there's a gang war going on in L.A. trying to recover that stolen morphine? That has nothing to do with me. I'm sure it would be gripping to hear more of your life story, boys, but the truth is, I don't give a fuck. <laughs> you were on the boat, Kelso. What happened? Do you really think a bunch of Marines could muscle in on the dope rackets in this town? Between the vice squad and the mob, I hear it's pretty sewn up. You'd better watch your mouth. Uh -huh. Ex-Marine. Gold McGoldrick. Did you know that Eddie McGoldrick recently came into money and bought a nightclub? No, I didn't know that. True. And you didn't know that some mobsters blew his brains out last night? No, I didn't. Arm stone from Cool Ridge. No. You heard that a crate of BARs went missing? No, I didn't. <laughs> I saw Felix Alvaro today. Good. How was he? A little pale. One of Mickey Cohen's goons had emptied about 60 BAR rounds into the bus he was driving. A public bus in the middle of Hollywood. Are you going to tell me what's going on? Or do more innocent people have to die? Yeah, and what's in it for you, Cole? Newspapers? More glory? Another promotion? Another medal at the expense of men who fought for their country? Count me out. S.S. is Cool Ridge, Rob. What do you know about the Army surplus robbery from the Cool Ridge, Jack? What I know is that on three separate occasions, you would have been dead if it weren't for me. I don't know anything about the robbery. People are dying because morphine intended to help servicemen is being used on the street. Now we have guys from our old unit being killed by mobsters. We can put two and two together, Jack. Gratitude isn't a concept that has much effect on you, is it, Cole? Answer the question, Jack. Let's get this over with. I was interviewed when the robbery took place. I don't have anything further to add. Jack, we just want information. Bullshit, Cole. <laughs> Did you seriously believe that dragging me down here would get me to give up my own guys? You call yourself a Marine? Trying to make a name for yourself with this shit heel? 
Look at this chump with this $200 suit and $2,000 car. The tough guy act is really impressive. I like you, Jack. I'd like to make you for this. I really would. I'm going to be working on it and keeping an eye on you. You can go now. Judy, Robert Steiner, 6780 West oh. Sunset Boulevard. No. The victim is a Chris Majewski. Oh, no. Another name from the manifest? This is heating up, folks. And so is my channel, so... Like How many see, more friends of yours are we gonna get plugged into? Follow and subscribe to the 9 to 5 I Love Does Game YouTube and Twitch channel for more Let's Play Classics. You're behind the wheel. Do we know where we're going? You're the reason brothers and sisters shouldn't marry. Talk about tension. That was like being trapped in an elevator with a married couple who can't decide whether they love each other or hate each other. We go back a long way. You went too easy on him. Next time, you leave it to me. I know how to handle that smug son of a bitch. You don't. Jack will never give up his own men. Robert Steiner. He just walked up and shot the man. Two of them officers, they went that way. Go on, get after him. Can't hit a target that isn't there, Phelps! Another VAR. Those guns were stolen from the rack with the other three. Ooh, look at this. Same manifest. An LAPD file. Hmm. We have a traitor in our midst. Some All of the, the names on the list the have a hit team assigned to them. You got Drisco, Hendrix, Drisco, Lebodrick, he walked out. Beckett, Higgins, Connolly.
The ones that have been crossed out are the ones that have been wiped out. Except for Alvaro and Sheldon. We need to get to those guys fast, otherwise there'll be no case. Can you drive to this one? Fine, where are we headed? Where are we going today? all the guys from the ship. Why? How does that get them the dope? They obviously don't know who has the morphine, and they're waiting for someone to crack. and steer him off the tar. Close and steer him off the tar. Theater, 433. Getting close and steer him off the tar. It's no good. We need to get closer.
Get in close and steer him off the tar. Get in close and steer him off the tar. Shot from here, Cole. Getting close and steer him off the tar. Step on it, huh? Just give me a little closer. Hit him, Cole. Spin him out. Getting close and steer him off the tar. I can't take the shot from here, Cole. Hit him, Cole. Spin him out. It's no good. We need to get closer. Hit him! Clear this asshole off the road. I can't hit a target that isn't there, Phelps! I'll try for the tires. Keep your foot down. LAPD, put your hands in the air. Yeah. <sighs>
Stay down. Situation contained. Code 4. <coughs> Tell Courtney... B bad luck. <coughs> it was worth a try. It was worth a try. <sighs> did it. Wonder whether it was worth it. Most people never get the chance to be rich. Wouldn't you risk it? Like Sheldon is bringing his own fire team with him. Juski, Beckett, Goldrick, Driscoll, these are good guys. Why did they get wrapped up in this thing? Not everyone has your unwavering restraint in the face of temptation, Cole. They weren't even his friends, and he still confessed. You can drive.
Beautiful day. Hope we have no trouble. You're behind the wheel. This isn't looking good. I feel like the fat kid at the back of a race. You sure it's Cohen making the hits? All fingers point his way. Your buddies are in way over their heads. Being a Marine doesn't mean shit out here. Meeting place, 9 15 p.m. There, fight them off. All right, let's kill these rat bastards. On the roof, call nail them. some goddamn Put out an APB on every one of the sons of bitches on that. APB on the Carl Eleven K. Carl Eleven King, come in. Carl Eleven King. Eleven K, go to Hollywood Station. Hey, Courtney Sheldon is at Hollywood Station requesting an interview with Detective Cole Phelps. Well, I'll be damned. That's not correct protocol, Eleven K. I'll take that as a Roger. <laughs> Carl Eleven King on route. You know the way. You can drive. Where are we going?
Boy, in my office, if you please. I'm working a major case. I'm that close, Cap. It's gonna have to wait. Let Phelps do the interrogation. But, Cap, no buts. This is more important. I understand you, but thousands wouldn't. Hey, you think those vice boys get any on the side? He's the cop who arrested that movie producer. It's about time some of those movie Sheldon. people went to jail. Is this your attorney? No, detective. This is Dr. Harlan Fontaine. He came down here to help me out. How do you do, sir? You stole the morphine from the Coolridge. You can't prove that. Let's see if I can try. And what is your relationship to Sheldon, sir? Tudor mentor. Mr. Sheldon is a medical student of mine. He has a very bright future. Oh, that's nice to know. Too bad all of your war buddies won't get to see your graduation. Courtney Sheldon, eyes blue, hair black, age 25, sex male, former marine medic listed on Coolidge, on Coolidge Passenger Manifest. Six marines being targeted. I would have asked Beckett or Majewski or Driscoll about their involvement, but it's difficult considering they're all dead. That leaves you, Sheldon. You can't blame their deaths on me, Phelps. Hmm. But you're lying, Courtney. The other guys aren't smart enough to attempt something like this. You either give it up, or I go after Jack for it. And how do you prove that, Cole? Do I need to find someone to look after me? Do I need to find someone to look after me? Do I need to find someone to look after me? Do I need to find someone to look after me? No. How long is this gonna take? Did you know, Mr. Nikowski? Isn't there anything else you can do? Were you a bull last Saturday? Do you really think I'm going to steal? No way. Who wants to know Miss Wells is?
community to find some papers or something? Has anyone seen my pen? No way! Stare all you want! I have nothing to hide! It's nothing personal. I'm just doing my job. You understand that. Will be take long at responsibility. You're off the hook for now.
Do I need to kill this guy? You don't ask, you never find out. Is the captain in? Oh, you can't take the We know about your showdown with Cohen. We found notes on your guys. Cohen is hitting our old. He believes we have the morphine. I told him that we don't have it. And that's the truth. Isn't it, Doc? I believe. Mr. Sheldon, I think he's telling the truth. <laughs> you were on the ship, Sheldon. Yes, that's correct. So you had opportunity. But it doesn't mean that I was involved. <laughs> so you don't mind that the mob executed McGoldrick, Driscoll, and Beckett to get to you? I don't know why you're trying to pin this on me. Where's your proof? Beckett had a message for you before he died. Bad luck. It was worth a try. I feel bad about Beckett Phelps. He was a hard charger. Those guys deserve more. I don't blame them for taking their shot. Have you finished, Detective? I'm just getting started. Hmm. You have an answer for everything, Courtney. Let's hope Jack does, because now I'm going after him. Is there anyone you're not prepared to sacrifice? Jack is not in this. He's a good guy. You were Jack, Courtney. I don't care who goes to jail. I just want the morphine off the street. What are you offering, Cole? Don't be ridiculous, son. This man is gambling. What's your offer? Doctor, good to see you. I'm conducting an investigation. Upstairs in my office, now. This man is about to confess. As of now, you're suspended from duty, pending a fitness review. What are you hmm. talking about? You heard the man, Phelps. Upstairs and face the music like the hero you wear. Oh, shit. And this is where Cole Phelps takes a fall from grace. You certainly had us fooled, Detective. Phelps, you're one of my favorite sons. You've broken this old man's heart. Sir, what is going on? Here? You're suspended, Phelps. And over your badge and gun. Don't keep him waiting. What is going on here? Your wife's attorney has pictures of you and the German. Compromising pictures, lad. She's pressing charges. You'll be formally charged with adultery. A criminal cannot serve as an LAPD officer, as I'm sure you're aware. I don't understand. How could you do it, lad? Your wife, your children, consorting with the enemy and a dope fiend at that. <laughs> you're lucky the war is over. You'd be taken out and shot. The department doesn't need this kind of publicity, Phelps. Hand over the gun. Keep your head down until your board hearing. I forbid you to make any comments to the press. What the hell were you thinking? From rising star to falling star with the LAPD. It's the downfall of Cole Phelps, y'all. And by the way, that's real life actor Aaron Stanton's real life wife, kind of flesh. Marie, listen, Marie, I need to explain. Please leave. You're upsetting the girls. Let me see them, Marie. They're my daughters. Go to her, Cole. You have done enough damage here. Do you want me to call the police? For God's sake, Marie. Can't we at least talk? What is there to talk about? Do you love her? Do you? What were you thinking? What about our children? Can you imagine what this has been like for them? Go away, Cole. My father has hired an attorney and you will be hearing from him. I'd like to explain, Maria. 
to tell you what I've been going through. What you've been going through. I have had reporters camped out on the front lawn all morning. I can't stand it, Cole. Man, I gotta champagne your ass. For those who don't know, in 1989, Sean Penn punched out a paparazzi for taking his picture. Oops. Going back to the scene of his crime. Messing around with a German red. Complete all cases on the vice desk. No rest for the wicked. 14 out of 15 clues found. 14 out of 14 questions correct. Despite mob wars and an unsolved robbery, one story will dominate the newsprint. Your vice, vice complete. Your actions have earned you a demotion. Prepare for reassignment. Demoted. Arson desk. Wilshire Police Station, Division 7. And that's going to do it for this edition of Let's Play Classic. I hope you enjoyed it, and this will be repeat, reoccurring Let's Play, continuing tomorrow at the same time. From 12, I think 12 noon? Yeah, from 12 noon. And we're going back to two, back to back two cases. For I guess the remaining remainder of this edition of the series. And just like that, Cole Phelps has been demoted to arson. Anyway, if you like what you saw, please, please do me a solid and follow and subscribe to the 9 to 5 Outlaw Does Gaming, both YouTube and Twitch channel for more Let's Play classics, including L.A. Noir, Mad Max. Sleeping Dogs, and many other games. And I will be back this evening at about 6 o'clock for Mad Max. Until then, I'm Kill the Vid for the 9to5 Outlaw Does Gaming YouTube and Twitch channel. Stay safe.